Hi, welcome back to The New Norm. I'm Dr. Lou Graham, and this program is brought to you by Midway Dental and Catapult Education. So we're gonna go right into it. We got a hot subject today. I, I've got who I believe is one of the authorities on this subject, and it's a John, it's a John Bird. And so let me give you a little bit of background on John. He's not a dentist, and he has a master's in biochemistry along with a PhD. And he has co-authored 40 publications and has 35 patents. So he's no rookie at this. He is also the founder and CEO of Lysolin Inc., launching an all-natural, scientifically proven and nutraceutical product, proven it would improve the health of people with diabetes. Now, how John became part or aware to myself is we reviewed a product of his called Wonder Spray, and it did really well with the Catapult reviewers. We're gonna get to Wonder Spray, but I wanna dive right now into this hot subject of hypochlorous acid. It's just, yeah, it's all over the dental world. A lot of webinars going on about it. So I wanted to go to really one of the experts in the industry on it. So John, could you kind of talk to me, talk to the audience about hypochlorous acid and why is it so relevant today? Thanks for that great introduction, Lou. And uh, I'm so happy to be here because I love talking about these natural products for big healthcare problems. And Wonder, yep. Wonder Spray is such a problem. It's a, uh, the active ingredient is hypochlorous acid. I hate that name. Uh, the abbreviation is HOCl. It's a very simple molecule. Right. It's only hydrogen, oxygen, and chlorine. It's 100 times more powerful than bleach as a disinfectant, but it's totally right. safe and non-toxic. You can spray in your eyes, nose, throat, everywhere, and it's so good for so many ailments. And dentists are one of the two professional groups that know about HOCl. Dentists and optometrists and ophthalmologists, they appreciate what a, a miracle pro product it is. And it actually is what your white blood cells use to kill all pathogens, bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, and fungus. And I've now got doctors using it to disinfect their offices to keep them and their patients and their staff happy, healthy, and safe. Um, what else so, can I tell so you John, about? So, John, let's talk about the fact that this is... So, so many of the chemicals we use to disinfect are really toxic chemicals. And so let's talk about this in disinfection in the office. I mean, you sell gallons of this to dentists in the United States currently, and how are they using this to disinfect first their offices, and then we'll get into fogging and misting. How are they using it? Okay, well, dentists can use, we sell Wonder Spray in two ounce and eight ounce spray bottles in addition to the gallon jugs and right. a gallon is what is used for the foggers but you can use this spray to uh to stop gingivitis and halitosis and use for uh just routine procedures to prevent pain and infection after routine dental procedures so that's one way to use hocl in the dentist's office but for fogging the office you basically fog it around using these machines and it covers everything so that if there's any bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, or fungus on any of your surfaces or any of your people, uh, they can be disinfected and deodorized. It also is a deodorant. So if, if you have a smell somewhere, you can count on it being a bacteria. And HOCL gets rid of that. So does that answer that question for you, I hope? So let, let's go still more into the office disinfection. We'll get to Wonder Spray in a little bit. So okay. they pour this they pour this solution that comes in a gallon jug into one of their misters or foggers and basically they can just basically sweep a room how long does it really have to sit on a chair you know in the room before it can be wiped down is there some guidelines on that Well I guess my guideline is that uh, to use a fogger that doesn't make a big wet mess and there are right. different types of foggers, and you can get foggers that produce a very light mist, and it will just naturally right. dry, like in a minute, so you don't even have to go wipe it down. And in that minute, it will disinfect and deodorize. So it's no muss, no fuss, really. So the doctors who are using it, John, do you think... 
they use other disinfectants or is this their primary disinfectant in their operatories when they're when they're ordering these gallon sizes i mean we have misters in the office and we just missed around and to me it's the easiest thing in the world to do and it's again we've got aerosol we're all concerned about aerosol i i, I love the option of hocl and a mister i mean we talked yeah. about yeah i mean that's how i look at it so you know and and, and I don't want to be negative here because we also had Jeff Horowitz talking about using, you know, a 3% hydrogen peroxide. But again, this is far, it's a far, this is a far greater disinfectant, correct? You know, it's much more powerful than any of the others. Like I said, it's a hundred times more powerful than bleach. And what is more powerful okay. as a disinfectant than bleach? But doctors wouldn't want to be right. spraying bleach around themselves and their offices. So HOCL is the perfect uh solution to uh the disinfectant and deodorizing so yeah your dentist that use it my dentist uses it and he loves it so so yeah. so john let's talk about why you make it and sell it versus some of the other systems out on the market you know they they literally they can come with electrolytes and a certain uh oh i'll call it uh, in office, you know, machine or whatever to make their own hypochlorous. How do yep. you make it such that you can export it, meaning sell it to us? And I, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but why is your special? I mean, you've obviously spent a lot of time on this, uh, developing yeah. this product. I really appreciate that question, Lou. And the, the answer is that, you know, hypochlorous acid was discovered in the late 1800s and used on the war field for battle wounds and healing them. Right. And one of the problems, and they, they generated it themselves, like you described. You basically just put salt into a, a tank and you add electricity and it makes hypochlorous acid. But you've got to be careful about two things. One is the pH okay. and the other is yep. the, uh, you want to, you want to make sure you don't have too high of a concentration. And that's why the product that we have in the gallon jugs is 250 parts per million. And that's, okay. that's a great, you know, my, my dentist actually dilutes it one to five to use in that solution that they use for routine dental. When, when you're getting your teeth cleaned and stuff, they spray water in it. He uses HOCL at 50 parts per million when he does that, and it works great. So, and the reason ours is so stable is because the way we manufacture it, we have it manufactured okay. for us. They know how to make it with really clean, pure water so that it's stable yep. for six, at least six months after you open, open the bottle. Our spray solutions are good for 18 months. Uh, so it's good for a long time and you'll use it up quickly enough that it won't expire on you. And it, oh, no. said it right. Six months. Right. Yeah. So let me let me ask you a question because you touched on another good subject. So I've got to dive a little deeper. So okay. you you get you get this gallon in two hundred and fifty parts per million, and so you you said one of your clients is now diluting it pretty much five parts water distilled water with you know one part this to get it to fifty parts per million, and is he then or she then putting it like in a water bottle? And then that's running through the system. So if a hygienist is using ultrasonics or they're using high speed hand pieces, this is the solution that's coming through those lines. Is that what you're that's kind a, of getting at there? Yeah, that's exactly correct. And it's not on a spray bottle. It's that they have that little thing they stick in your mouth that squirts water in your mouth. I don't know what you call that, but that's. Right. That's what he puts it. He puts it in that at 50 parts per million. And HOCL is it still works down to as low as like uh, 20 parts per million. So it's really powerful, but safe and effective. So, so, yeah, so in a sense, well, I'm not letting you go. So in a yeah. sense, if, if it, here's our dental world and hygienists are worried about ultrasonics and they should be, they're concerned about aerosol production. And we, we've got the N95s, we've got the PureVex and other systems out there, plus air purifiers and filtrations. But another added mechanism then could be to put this in your water bottles to loot. And so as this is coming through, not only is it cleaning the lines in a sense, it's also as an aerosol, 
it's almost like a sterilizing aerosol, if I'm following you correctly. Am I off on that? No, no, you're right on. That's exactly right, Lou. That's a that's a great little summary you just gave. And in, instead of worrying about using ultrasonic to, to get rid of plaque and stuff, it actually, it that mist that would come out if you're using that water would would yep. be as totally safe and disinfected. So, yes, that's a great point. Oh, that's a huge, oh my God, that's a huge point. I'm, uh, yeah. you know, my buddy Ron Kaminer has been trying to do this with this kind of solution. So I, I love, I love where we're going with this. Okay, so that's where you're, where people would buy the gallons and then obviously, you know, let's just go five parts distilled water, one part this product, and, and now using it in their water bottles to go through their yeah. lines. Okay, I get it. That's a great, you can use it then in the misters uh, or foggers, which is what we're doing. Love that. So let me ask you, okay, we reviewed a product, Wonder Spray. Is it really just hypochlorous acid or is there something a little bit more special about, about Wonder Spray? Tell me a little bit and why don't you describe for the audience what Wonder Spray is? Okay, let me tell you how I discovered it, first of all, because I have another company okay. that makes a natural product for people with diabetes, and I've got family okay. members that have diabetes, and I've been working in that space for a long time, and I, I had a podiatrist that told me about a system that used ultrasound to, uh, uh, or, I'm sorry, used a, a mister with saline to help for wound right. healing, so I looked into that, okay. and I tried I bought a little nebulizer and put saline in it, but it didn't kill the bacteria. But the same day I okay. found out it didn't kill, I found out that, that about hypochlorous acid. So I researched it, and I was amazed, as you are now, that what an incredible product it is. So I contacted the manufacturer and told them I'd like to have a product that I could sell direct to consumers that would help with wound healing because it's FDA cleared. Okay. For wound healing, but then I discovered, oh my God, it's not good for just wound healing and first aid and skin problems. It also is good for all these other ailments, like uh, as we said, gingivitis and sore throats and everything else. So uh, I sell two ounce and eight ounce bottles of that, and people can buy it over the counter. Doesn't need a prescription, and dentists can you know provide it to their patients after dental procedures to keep them. Uh, help with any pain there might be and also to keep them from becoming infected. You spray it right in your mouth like a mouthwash and you can swallow it. It won't hurt you. And, 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 and John, just to refresh me on this, when you spray it in the mouth, you're not really gargling. You're just spraying it in your mouth, correct? I mean, it's, it's a spray. Yep. It's not, a, you could gargle it, but you don't need to. And you could also use it like in a neti pot, you know, to help you with decongestant. It also helps with allergies. If you have allergy symptoms, it, it can help with uh, runny nose and eye itching and things like that. It just really, people can't believe all the things that it's good for. Right. So, yeah. okay. So let's just, let's just, in, in sticking with this wonder spray concept, which is, so all my guys in Catapult took it home for their families, for sore throats and all that other stuff. They all have it at home. It's the funniest thing. But then the question is, is so what you would be saying is you do some extensive work. Like I just got home from work. We did, we had two implant cases today. Um, I, I had to take out an upper molar today. If you dispense that product and basically spray that area, A, it would obviously assist in healing, keep the area obviously clean, but it's, is it also therapeutic at all with pain? I'm just curious. Yeah, we have people that use it for, for, for pain. If you know, if you, if you cut yourself or something like that, you can yep. spray it on there and it will immediately make it feel better and it will heal a lot faster with no scarring. And if your skin burns or itches, it immediately uh, gets rid of that. And if you have a sore throat, which is painful, it sprayed in your right. sore throat, it immediately stops the pain and, and keeps you healthy. It's incredible. Okay. It's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. It's wonder. Yeah. It, it's wonder spray. Yeah. <laughs> so let, 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 me, let, 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 me, let me let me touch on this then. So it comes in a two ounce, and that's kind of like 
your patient to go bottle. Would you, would you kind of be looking at that as after anything extensive or if offices want to sell it, they could be selling it, but they'd probably be selling the eight ounce. The two ounce would be more for patients like going after extractions, implants, you know, extensive scaling and planning, things like that. Is, is that how you kind of position the two products for a dental yep. office? Yeah, actually, the eight ounce, you know, the, the beautiful thing about the two ounce is you can carry it around in your pocket or purse with you everywhere right. and have one in your glove compartment. And the eight ounce you can keep in your medicine cabinet at home and it will get rid of about a dozen products in your medicine cabinet that it's good for. It's good for po poison ivy and all kinds of things. So, yeah, insect bites, it'll stop that, them from itching. So, yeah. So, so, so when people purchase this, I mean, how do they know all these indications? Does it come with anything? Like when you sell Wonder Spray, does it come with some guidelines at all? Or is it just try it and it should work on almost all of these things? I'm just curious. When you sell it, does anything come with indications? No, basically, you know, I've got the bottle here. Yep. And basically, it just says it's for first aid solution. And it just says it's good for cuts and scratches, insect bites and stings, sunburns, point right. saps and oils, blisters, rashes, dry skin, and burns. Right. So it's got a list there, but the list actually is longer than that. And when I tell right. people about it, I send them a sheet that's got this whole long list of all the things that it can be used for. You know, it's FDA cleared for wound healing and first aid. So I kind of have right. to be careful about what I promote like spraying it in your throat. But, we don't have it FDA cleared for that, but people know that if they do, it's safe, non-toxic, and it's works. It's safe. It's, yep. Right. It's safe because it's a natural product. So yep. basically, you sell the Wonder Spray in two and eight, and then the gallons really for more disinfection in the office and misting. That's really, well, use, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, with a fogger. And we also have nice foggers that we're, we're selling now that are, are much less wetness than classical ones so yeah, we it. have the whole we have the whole program and again relative to disinfection and sanitation yep. we have to also be careful here because we're not wonder spray is not epa cleared for that however the people we buy it from are or that make it for us are epa cleared for uh coronavirus but we can't promote that at all so we, have, we, we walk a very fine line there. I don't want the FBI knocking yeah. on my door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I hear you. But on the other hand, the manufacturer who makes it for you, this kills the coronavirus. Yeah, on their website, uh, it talks yep. about EPA clearance. And I have a little sheet that I send to people that goes through what I just told you. I don't know if I sent you that sheet, but it talks about uh, the EPA and coronavirus and HOCL. Great. I, I, John, I can't thank you enough for the interview. I, I love all the characters that I find in, in the dental world. You add wonderment to this. I love it. Um, I, I hope the audience loves this interview. And uh, John, thanks for joining us today. I guess I would urge them to go to my website, which is www.jburd.com. And there you find out about these great natural products for big health care problems. And if anybody has any questions, they can email me at jbird at jbird.com. And thank you, Lou, so much for setting up this interview. I, I love talking to people, and I'm so excited that dentists are so educated about hypochlorous acid. Thanks, John. Be well. We'll see you soon. So let me be clear. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your questions. So what we want you to do is we want you to go to education at midwaydental.com. Shoot us your questions. We'll go right to the experts. I know I'm not the expert. So let's go ask the experts what we should be doing as our next step next week, the week after, and thereafter. I look forward to hearing from you.